Okay, so now we've done commercial, we've done some industrial, and now we're going to do some animation. Now again, this is original copy that we've produced or we've written, and um, but it, give, it will give you an idea of kind of the way things go. Now, in this, Patricia, this is a female uh, character who's kind of strong-willed, who's sort of a tough character. Um, and we'll do each one of these lines. You can see they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you can give me a pause in between each one. They're not necessarily part of the same scene. They could be at different parts of a script. Okay. Um, so don't think, don't think that you have to connect them. Yeah, and this is tip a typical format for animation audition scripts where they just pick a bunch of select lines throughout the show that really represent that character's attitude or vibe. And so there's going to be a lot of disconnect between the lines. That's why we suggest give, you know, giving yourself a nice little pause so you can mentally reset for the next batch. Um, and also kind of read ahead so you know, like, do you have to adjust your volume, your mood, anything else? Right. And like Afshar was saying, um, a lot of times this is how auditions come. So what they're looking for generally is... Uh, they're going to give you a little background on the character. Sometimes you may even get some uh, description of the context of the line. Okay. Most of the time you don't, and that's okay. Uh, we're not trying to match up to any lip flaps. We're not trying to do anything other than get the feel of the character. And um, if they get that feel and it sounds right, then you're going to be golden because it, it's just going to look like it and feels right and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and just give each one um, a go. Just give me, give us a nice pause in between each one, and you can uh, you can, if you can read through it before you record it um, and that sort of thing. But let's just uh, let's give it a go. Remember, she's very strong, <clears throat> uh, kind of a, a not rogue, but she marches to the beat of her own drum. If you know what I mean. Okay. All right. You ready? Sure. Okay, let's give this a shot. So let me clarify, or should I say sum up our situation? In order to make it out of here, we either have to kill them or they kill us. Is that a fair assessment? Okay, so this is all of us. <laughs> Not a very strong looking bunch, but I guess there is safety in numbers. Let's at least hope so. It's simple, really. Survival is like a game, and it's not always the strongest that win. Sometimes all you need is the raw desire to live. Now get in there. Oh, and try not to die. Given the current situation, we are not afforded that luxury. Anything that could possibly give away our position is out of the question. I think I speak for the entire group when I say unapologetically, undeniably, and without any shred of doubt whatsoever, will you shut up for one bloody minute? No, something is not right. This is too clean, too easy. We're being played. He's lying. Don't look at me like that. I have a gut feeling about this and about him, and I'm telling you, he is lying. You know what? I'm going to say it. I told you so. I know it might not seem like much coming from me, but you have nothing to be ashamed of. Do you hear me? You did the best you could. We all did. But in the end, nothing was going to save him. He knew that. Let him go. Okay, very good. Not, not bad at all, Patricia. So what I'd like to do now is let's, let's strengthen her up. Okay. Uh, let's give her more cojones. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then... Give some differentiation in between some of the takes. I want to hear some real peaks and valleys, okay? okay. Um, and I'll let you make the choices on that. Again, I just want to see um, how far you can stretch yourself and, and how far your range will take you or let you go in this. And this is another example of um, we want to see what the actor can do. We're not going to judge the actor on the decisions that he or she made because they may not know the context of these lines. But if we can see a dynamic range in what they're able to pull off, then that will give us an idea of, um, of what they're able to do. Not only that, in this particular case, now that we've told Patricia what to do, we want to see what she can do as far as taking direction. Remember, we talked about how important it is for actors to be able to take direction. So, uh, let's give it another try, Patricia, anytime you're ready. And okay. uh, really give us some attitude. Okay. Okay. 
Let him go. All right, here we go. So let me clarify, or should I say sum up our situation. In order to make it out of here, we either kill them or they kill us. Is that a fair assessment? Okay, so this is all of us. <laughs> Not a very strong looking bunch, but I guess there is safety in numbers. Let's at least hope so. It's simple, really. Survival is like a game, and it's not always the strongest that win. Sometimes all you need is the raw desire to live. Now get in there. Oh, and try not to die. Given the current situation, we are not afforded la that luxury. Okay, no, I'm going to stop you right back. there. Keep rolling. Keep okay, rolling. Sure. Just make that, give it, make that, um, uh, a lot more stern. You're, you're reprimanding somebody who, who okay. lit a cigarette or something like that. Given the current situation, we are not afforded that luxury. Anything could possibly give away our position is out of the question. I think I speak for the entire group when I say unapologetically, undeniably, and without any shred of doubt whatsoever. Will you shut up for one bloody minute? No, something is not right. This is too clean, too easy. We're being played. He's lying. Don't look at me like that. I have a gut feeling about this and about him, and I'm telling you, he is lying. You know what? I'm going to say it. I told you so. I know it might not seem like much coming from me but you have nothing to be ashamed of. Do you hear me? You did the best you could. And we all did. But in the end, nothing was going to save him. He knew that. Let him go. Great. Nice. Very, very nice. Very well done. Okay, thanks a lot, Patricia. And um, Great job. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, very nice job. Thanks. Very nice working awesome. with you. So there you have it. There's some uh, examples of what it's like to be in the booth. We went over a commercial, we did some industrial, and there was some animation. And uh, there's, like we said earlier, there's all types of things that you can do with voiceover. And um, a lot of times it's just getting in there and exploring it for yourself and seeing what you can do. But that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm.